Welcome back. Fish and other mobile organisms can be measured using belt transects like those that have been described already. However, those methodologies do come with a couple of problems and limitations. Uh, the first is that the presence of divers swimming along the reef crest can cause fish to hide or disappear from the transect, leading to much lower estimates of fish abundance and diversity than there actually may have been. The second problem is that mobile organisms like fish may behave differently at different times of the day. In this case, differences may arise in the number of fish observed simply because of the time of day or night when the measurements were made. And of course you've only got to look at our parrotfish to realise that they're uh, very visible in transects by day, but of course hiding away inside the reef uh, by night time. And you would get a very different impression about parrotfish numbers if you were to measure them uh, in the night time versus the day. One way around this problem is to deploy unobtrusive video cameras. These can be set up by uh, a diver who can then leave the area and pick up the cameras at a later date and the video records can then be reviewed later on. You can count fish, you can estimate the size and abundance of those fish, as well as the frequency of important behaviour such as feeding and grazing. And we recently deployed um, this type of video monitoring on deep mesophotic reefs where it's really hard to stay down for very long to estimate grazing rates and that's what you're seeing here in this little piece of video. You can also use video cameras to do presence and absence studies uh, by actually putting out food or bait and seeing who comes to the camera when the diver isn't there. Well, let's now move on to a brief overview of other methods that one might use to study tropical coastal ecosystems in the field. In trying to understand how healthy a reef system might be, many researchers have developed physiological instruments which allow them to understand the health of tropical marine ecosystems and organisms. And in this uh, photograph I'm using an, an instrument called a pulsed amplitude modulated fluorometer uh, to essentially investigate uh, in the field on a reef the health of photosystems within the symbionts of corals. Now, while this is a complicated instrument, it allows us to get another layer of information about the state or condition of tropical coastal ecosystems. Researchers may also take measurements of key chemical and physical variables such as temperature, chlorophyll, the amount of sediment in the water column, isotopic content, water clarity, toxins, and many other variables in order to understand uh, how an ecosystem works and whether or not it's under stress or not. Field measurements may also involve manipulative experiments. This is a photograph taken during an experiment uh, in which we exposed parts of the Heron Island Reef to ocean acidification. While a challenging experiment, this study was able to show the sensitivity of corals and other organisms to ocean acidification under field conditions. And this was really one of the first uh, studies of its kind done on a living coral reef. All the other studies on ocean acidification having been done in the artificial setting of, of laboratories and, and, and aquaria. As you have already heard, satellites are providing important information on the distribution and abundance of tropical coastal ecosystems. I put this photograph here to remind us of the power of relating field measurements, like the ones described here, to satellite and other large-scale measurements. And these types of measurements are enabling modern science to understand tropical coastal ecosystems at scales which are truly global. And in an age of unprecedented anthropogenic uh, driven climate change, the importance of these measurements cannot be overstated. Attempt the following quiz to check your understanding of the different methodologies and approaches that scientists use to study reefs under field conditions.